these chickens have something to say. But what exactly? Well, that's what Suresh Neethi Rajan wants to know. For the past year, he's been working with chickens trying to figure out their foul language. Even among human beings, you know, when we communicate, there's a lot of communication gaps. We tend to mis uh, misinterpret what others say. So communication is a key for better understanding each other. What if we can understand the language of farm animals such as chickens so that we can uh, improve their quality of life when they are here in the farm? During a span of about 16 weeks, he put hundreds of chickens to the test, learning what their vocalization and actions really mean. Every day we collected a bunch of data. We stressed them with visual cues, like opening an umbrella suddenly. We also uh, played dog barking sound uh, to stress them out via audio stress. We were trying to understand how different types of stresses play a role and how they communicate, how they express themselves. Neethi Rajan says when faced with all of these trials, like the dog barking, the chickens had a lot to say. Not with words, but with things like pauses between their sounds, the pitch and tone, and the energy behind it. Sometimes a group of chickens talk among themselves, express their satisfaction, contentment, frustration, even if there is a delay in the availability of feed or there is a change in the hygiene protocol or the lighting intensity, they can actually express that through the vocalizations. After collecting the sounds, their chirps, clucks and squawks get fed into an artificial intelligence program. The AI can highlight patterns and how often certain noises are made. And that helps Neethi Rajan decipher when and what chickens use certain sounds for. So we look at these modulations of sound using algorithms based on the context. Then we collaborate with animal behavior scientists, ethologists, to create a spectrum in terms of understanding the cognition. What zone in terms of is it uh, positive? negative or neutral emotion. Neethi Rajan says he hopes that by deciphering chicken language and in turn their needs, he can help farmers and others in the industry improve animal welfare. We're also looking at extending to other species. Sometimes dairy cows are passive aggressive. They do vigorous licking to demonstrate their dislike, especially during calving period. They need a little more space. So they try to tell in different ways through whining, through making specific calls. So we also look at those very, very subtle, smaller cues and signs along with the vocalization to develop new ways of, hey, you know what, at least three to four hours before calving period, let the cow enjoy its own space during the birthing process. So that's the kind of strategies we would be able to develop and advise to the farmers. Neethi Rajan says his research will be ongoing, and he'll continue to work with chickens and other farm animals, deciphering the code that is their speech until he's cracked it. Felicia Chandler, CBC News, Halifax.